So now we will discuss about uh, storing employee data in MongoDB and image stored in MongoDB grid apps. Like uh, see, see this image. And here. Employee number, e name, salary stored in MongoDB collection along with image name and raw image that is stored in MongoDB grid FS. Okay, so same process as we have followed for MySQL. So here create the schema just like create table in MySQL. Write the query like writing procedure in MySQL and call this grid FS function same as. MongoDB, same as MySQL. Okay, and call the query not stored procedure. Okay, so first create the schema. So here in MySQL, we have created the schema like EMP grid. Okay, so EMP grid schema I am going to create. Yes. Okay. And we have already EMP schema dot TS is there. So same thing. I'm going to copy and paste it here. And here. Some of the fields are not required. The field names. Image path image name. And this field is not required. And here we need to write the collection name that is EMP grid. Grid. EMP grid schema. Okay. Except that same. And go to the EMP controller. So this is the controller for MongoDB and uh, you can check here. So first one is completed. So router dot post. So what will be that method name in MySQL? Same method name I am going to use. In MySQL, we have used grid storage. Okay, so go to the common dot ts. So grid uploads bucket is there and file uploads. Okay, so grid uploads we have used for MySQL. So I am going to take file uploads for MongoDB. File storage. So that is the function name. File storage. Dot single and here. Name is PIC and async request response. And use try catch e dot message and here. I am going to take image name, so that will be available in request dot files dot file name. And let body equal to request dot body. And I am going to pass this image in body object. Just like image name. Why? Because EMP grid schema image name key name is there. Okay. So image name equal to body dot image name equal to image name. Okay. So now we have object. Okay. Which is to be inserted into MongoDB collection. Write EMP grid schema dot find. So before going to insert, I am going to check whether that employee number already exists or not. 
EMP number equal to body dot EMP number and use then block a sync is exist and write the catch block here. If is exist dot length, so is exist will be the array. If the record documents are exist is greater than zero, then document is there. Okay. So I will write this condition here. Is length is exist dot length equal to zero means there are no documents for that particular employee number. OK, in else block means. It is greater than zero. OK, at this time I am going to give the message like. EMP number. Body. Dot EMP number. already exist next if each exist dot length equal to zero means there are no documents for that particular emp number now i am going to insert before that create the object like let emp object equal to new EMP grid schema of body. OK, I'm going to create the object. Then use that object and write save method. Then it will be saved automatically. So then. Result. Here. After then block, catch block should be there. So you can write this catch block. Now here result will be the object, not array. Why? Because the employee object will be the object. OK, so whatever the document has been inserted into the MongoDB collection, the document will be existing in result variable. OK. So. Object. Dot. Is of. Result. Dot length. Is greater than zero. That means. That object contains the keys. OK. Else res dot send new error response of two not one and you can give not save. Okay. Otherwise, in this block, you can give save success and file is uploaded and uh, for success give the status code as 200 use the api response success message okay and uh, so if the employee number already exists means we have to use the delete delete method okay so why because if the employee number already exists means that image is also uploaded. OK, so whenever we are getting this response, whatever the uploaded images are there, we have to delete that images from. Bucket, OK. So here. 
we have one function delete single file storage okay in this same file upload schema we have used so that no problem we just call that function and pass image name so now we will check it before that here file uploads are there you just remove that file uploads bucket and here write mango db here i'm going to pass image 3 and employee number 3 c 3, 3 okay so if i click on send button here employee grid in this emp grid one document has to be inserted and file uploads dot changes and dot files will be created and images and images chunks will be inserted so click on send button save success and file is uploaded now execute here so one document has been inserted into emp grid so image 3 that thing only we have uploaded image 3 and uh, refresh it file uploads dot files see here image 3 and the chunks Okay, these are the chunks and now if you click on again send button emp number three already exist message is there and click on this that image not inserted and total chunks 36 okay see 36 only available so if i give another image image 4 and employee number is 4 and this one is d and here 4 click on send button save success and you can get another image 4 and here another employee number has been inserted and here 36 chunks are there i mean uh, 0 0 to 36 means 37 chunks are there another chunks are there so you can write the count okay, 61 earlier we have 37 or 36 okay so if you click on again send button employee number 4 already exist so this is the way to write the api Whenever the requirement comes to you, like employee data, we have to store in normal collection and image that should be stored in GridFS bucket. So in that case, how to write the APIs? Okay, that is my intention. So this is the way to write the APIs.